I know I've probably made a video saying this before, but I think this is one of the simplest tutorials that I can teach y'all how to do. And this essentially is how to eliminate the green screen background or any sort of background that is on a certain image that is a solid color. I forgot to do I forgot to introduce myself. What's good, YouTube? Y'all should already know who it is. Man, it's your boring HTX. I'm about to show you how to do or how to eliminate the background green screen or how to work with green screen effects on Sony Vegas. Now, it's probably, like I said, it's probably one of the easiest things I'm about to show y'all. So let's get straight into it. Now, off the rip, I want to show y'all some shit, right? So I'm playing a ranked play, Mono for two, right? Now, this is the objective. I want to transfer, or I want to do a transition, I should say, from when I'm inspecting my knife into a certain clip or kill. So this is essentially how, how it's going to look beforehand. It's how it looks. I'm gonna try, I'm, I'm gonna expecting the knife cuts to the next piece of footage. Now, you're probably wondering, there needs to be a transition between there. It, it looks stupid. Of course, it looks stupid. But we're not going to use one of these regular transitions. We're going to use a green screen video, and we're going to turn that into a transition. Now, for the sake of this video, this essentially is a black background on the screen. But essentially, the same exact thing. You're still using the same exact effect and using the same exact steps, but you're choosing two different colors. So this is the reason why I'm going to show all this anyways. So what this video is, this video right here that we have, it doesn't have any sound to it, it's just a flame going across the screen as such. Now with this flame, it's a little slow, so I'm gonna speed it up a little bit. By speeding it up, you hold your cursor at the end, you hold control to do a time stretch, but instead of stretching it to the right, we're gonna shrink it to the left, essentially shrinking it. So that way it's a little faster. I'd say it needs to be a little more faster. There we go, that's good. Now, in order to make this whole thing work, what needs to happen is that this needs to sync up perfectly with the rest of the video. So as y'all can see, bam. Eh, it doesn't really look that right. But like I said, there's only one effect that this uses. And it's the same effect when it comes to using anything green screen related. And that effect is called the chroma key. On OBS, it's called chroma key. On Vegas, it's called chroma keyer. And on a bunch of other softwares, it's something along the lines of chroma key. Essentially, they all do the same exact thing. They eliminate a particular color that you select. So let's say, for example, I was a maniac and I wanted everything red related to be gone from the screen. So this is what I would do. I would drag the preset that says pure red screen, drop it on here, and it starts to eliminate everything that is red. But that's not exactly what we want, right? We want to eliminate a particular color. In this case, case, <laughs> in this case, we want to eliminate black. Now, in eliminating black, what that's going to do is going to eliminate the background because as y'all can see, it's a black screen right at the beginning. But once you add chroma key here, boom, it eliminates it. So as y'all can see, right, the effect comes in and now the whole background is gone. Now there's a few small tweaks that you need to do. You can't just throw it on there and then keep it pushing because in this case, whenever you click color, you need to select whatever color is the background, right? Whatever the background that you want to eliminate. But the thing is, it's not going to be exactly perfect. See, with the effect, it slightly takes out the glow that comes from the fire when you add in the effect. But let's say you want to keep the glow a little bit. This is where you keep a high threshold. High threshold keeps the original elements that are not being deleted. It sort of enhances them. So if I go all the way to the right, it doesn't do anything. But if I go all the way left, it boldens them. If I go all the way to the left, then the whole point of the effect is gone. So obviously you want this to be somewhere close to one a value somewhat very close to one now you're probably also wondering if i hide this top track the video looks a little lighter look in this section right here it looks slightly lighter without the effect this is without it this is with it so you're probably wondering why does it look darker it's because chroma here is not perfect what you need to do is a little more adjustments so one thing i like to do is i like to touch low threshold now this eliminates the background color that you have eliminated even more so you want to push this up as far as you possibly can that way, if you hide the top one, it looks exactly the same with or without the effect. The only thing that's added in is the flame effect that I have right here. So all you want to do just to sync it up, you want to push it forward just a little bit, just a little bit. That way, the fire covers. You don't want the next effect to kick in until the entire flame goes across the screen. So it would look somewhat like this. So the fire would be coming in. Once the fire complete covers the screen, we're at a whole new clip like so. Now, like I said, whether the background's green or it's black or it's red or it's purple, you have to make sure that the chroma key selects that particular color that you want. Now, one tricky thing, like I said, let's say, for example, in this case, the background was yellow or let's say the background was orange, for example, right? If I was to put this to yellow, I want to show you all something, right? If I was to put this to yellow, let's do RGB and I do like yellow or something, right? Let's say I do yellow. 
The problem is if I do yellow, look what happens. It messes with the red. You have to make sure that whatever you want to be kept on the screen is somewhat different in hue or in color from what's being removed. So let's say for example, a great example, let's say you're doing a green screen video and you wear a green t-shirt. You're gonna be a floating head and some floating forearms, I'm just saying. So essentially with keeping that in mind, you wanna make sure that that color differentiation is very definite. You don't want no mishaps, no mistakes, no if, ands, buts about it. You want complete certainty whenever it comes to what's being differentiated or what's being removed with the chromic here. So simple, simple tutorial. Let me show you all this. Let me show you how it looks with the transition synced up perfectly and correctly. Let me show y'all. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna try to copy from one. Yep. Perfect transition. Now, one thing that I do want to say, the fire lingers a little too long, so let's time stretch, time stretch it a little bit. Hold control, put your cursor at the end, and you want to shrink it down some. Essentially, this is just speeding up the clip. You could increase the velocity if you want to. You want to do time remapping if you want to. It's the same exact concept, but I'm, I'm gonna try to copy from one. Yep. That's how it looks whenever it's done. That kid got dolphin dive. Jesus. Oh. He got put on the t-shirt. And that's the clip as is. Like I said, this is one of the easiest tutorials I could show y'all. This is how you do, do green screens. But green screens can use, be used for a lot more. Some people have green screens behind them for whenever they stream. Some people have green screens on certain effects and videos. Maybe somebody wants to throw in like... Uh, let me show y'all another one. Another super quick example is sort of, for example, this intervention effect. As y'all can see, it comes up with a green background. All you want to do to, to eliminate this is add in a green screen chroma key effect. Bam. And most of it's gone. Now, like I said, you do the little tweaks and adjustments. Low threshold to eliminate the darkness on the background. High threshold to make sure everything that's on the video stays there and is perfectly fine. And the effect looks like this. There you go. So that's it for this tutorial. I thank everybody who tuned in this far into the video. I want y'all, I, I don't want y'all to be floating heads and forearms. So stop wearing green t-shirts with green screens. But if you enjoyed this video, make sure to smash the like button for me. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. And expect more tutorials like this on the way. This is your Bull Ranks HTX. And we out of here. I'm going to catch on the next one. Peace.